$1.6 billion FTX International Customers Group hires law firm to create official bankruptcy committee There is a reconcilable conflict between the interests of FTX's international customers and those of other creditor groups, said Evershed Sutherland partner Sarah Paul. A growing group of non-U.S. customers of FTX.com, which currently counts up to around $1.6 billion in lost funds, has lawyered up and is looking to create an official customer committee in order to protect their rights of ownership over their assets on the exchange. The non-U.S. FTX customers, led by Evershed Sutherland attorneys Sarah Paul and Erin Broderick, had already formed the first FTX ad hoc group. As an official committee it would be granted additional consultation and approval rights within the Chapter 11 case, including being entitled to payment of professional fees by the bankruptcy estates. After FTX filed for Chapter 11 bankruptcy protection with a widely reported shortfall of as much as $8 billion, a primary task for non-U.S. customers of the exchange is to establish that funds removed from customer accounts and transferred to other FTX-affiliated entities, such as Alameda Research are not the property of FTX's bankruptcy estate. Establishing this would mean the money from these customer accounts should not be distributed to all creditors, as per the U.S. Bankruptcy Code, but rather belong to the account-holding customers, explained Broderick, a cross-border restructuring attorney with experience in crypto bankruptcy cases, including failed exchange Mt. Gox. The rights of the non-U.S. customers and why they're differently situated is really important, said Paul. A former federal follow the URL for the full article for more on this story, visit the news article link.